Yeah, you write that. Forty-five. Oh, okay, forty-five. Oh, I'm sorry. Forty-five. Okay. okay. All right. This is a. Uh, this is oh, John. Let's see. process you want you have a shot to have towards you when you got them crowns on your head I mean when he put the crowns on your head okay when he's about to put one on there or when he approach you this is a thought process you want your hour shot the son of the most high this is the thought process you want him to have man okay go ahead all right this is John chapter 1 verse 47 Says Yahweh Shai saw Nathaniel mm -hmm. coming to him and said and said of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom is no guilt. God. So like read it again, come, bro. Come. This is so uh, Jake can catch it. So they have understanding. Go ahead. This is uh John chapter 1, verse 47. It says Yahweh Shai saw Nathaniel mm -hmm. coming to him. It said, it says of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, and in who is no God. And who is no God. No trickery, no lies. So if you lie on the mark of the beast, <laughs> going to your house shot, he's not going to have that thought process towards you. You see? And he knows, okay? He know if you, if he, he know, Yahweh Shemal Shai know if he leveled you up and gave you the insight, okay? After all these rebukes, for you to understand, oh, that's the chill. Or for you to understand any breakdown, just like Apostle Hardin mentioned Nate concerning Cornelius. Now he's teaching it. But back then he couldn't see it. Right. See, I'm just making that example. All these rebukes, but you got Jake starting to see it, who's teaching, but they ain't teaching. But y'all watching my shy. Showed you mercy, he opened up your eyes and you said, Oh, that's it. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? After all these rebukes. But you not teaching. Guess what? You're gonna be guilty when you come back. Read that again. Alright, this is uh this is John chapter 1, verse 47. It says, Yahweh Shai saw Nathaniel mm -hmm. coming to him and said of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed. And who is no God. So no trickery, no lies. So, like I was explaining, if you see it after all these rebukes, you can't lie to me, I'll watch him out shot. Your ass gonna be in trouble. Give me John the fourth chapter. John the fourth chapter. And Seventeen, started seventeen, John four and seventeen. Now, this was not an Israelite woman, but it's something in here that I want y'all to hear. Go ahead. All right, this is uh, John chapter four, verse seventeen. Mm -hmm. The woman answered and said, "I have no husband." Yahweh Shai said unto her, "Thou has, thou has well said, I have no husband." Mm -hmm. For this verse eighteen, for thou has had five husbands. So, how did he know that? He read her mind. So, if you know the truth, and you're not teaching it, and your eyes been open to it, you can't lie to y'all about you know shot, because they can read your mind. So your ass gonna be guilty. Right. Because he read that woman's mind right there. And that was 2,000 years ago. And it said, uh, matter of fact, give me Hebrews 13 and 8. 
Hebrews 13 and 8. Hebrews 13 and 8. All right, this is uh, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8. Yahweh Shai of Mashiach, the same yesterday and today and forever. So he can read your mind. It ain't changed, Mike. You've read that woman's mind, he can read your mind today. It ain't gonna change. So if you know the mark of the beast of the chip, and your eyes been open, you found out after all this rebuke, and you don't teach it, you're guilty, Mike. You're guilty, right? He's not going to look at you like he looked at Nathaniel saying, uh, Israelite indeed one who has no God, right? No trickery, no lies in him, right? No deceit. It's dangerous. It's dangerous, man. You're playing with your life and other people's lives, man. <laughs> That's what you're doing. All right? So, what I want to do is go to, uh, let me see. Uh, you want me to finish back in John? Yeah, finish that off. All right, it says, uh, this is uh, John chapter 4, verse 18. For thou had, has five, had, for thou has had five husbands, mm -hmm. and he whom thou know, now has is not thy husband. So he read her mind, huh? And this is what she said. Go ahead. In that said thou truly. See? She said what you said is true. So how did he know her past? How did he know her life? But he read her mind, man. Right? He knew. Man, you can't hide. You can't hide. You can't hide, man. Jake on his well, man. They think everything's a game. Right. They don't know how serious things are and they don't really truly understand what they're into, man. Right? They just looking at guys teaching on the web and they just look at other guys rebuking other guys and they help yeah, this and that. Nah, man, you play with your life and you play with other people's lives and you don't know how serious it is. You see, you playing games, but y'all about you know what ain't playing them games, man. Right? You playing games, they ain't. They deadly serious, man. They'll knock the spirit out of you so fast, man, your whole family won't even realize you're gone. Right. That's how fast they'll knock it out of you. Friend, best friend, whole family, they won't even realize you're gone. That's how fast most of knock the spirit out of you, man. We're playing with him. See what he did in Turkey? Right. All them people gone that fast. Man, <laughs> man, you better fear him, man. He done that to he. It could be been Israelite over there, but he done that to he. Done it. That show you their mind state. How they don't, how they won't uh, hesitate to get a charge issue death over there. They'll sit for all them over there. So you playing with his word. Say, oh, I got something for you. You think everything a joke? Just because you're on the web and people watching you? Right. Playing with my word? Bet. Bet. <laughs> Give me Hebrews 5 and uh, 14. That goes for any breakdown, right? Of these scriptures, man. Your eyes be open to these scriptures, man. You were you was uh, slipping and going off, and your eyes be open to a uh, scripture you've been breaking down wrong, but you see it. It's oh shit, but you don't never teach it, but you don't you don't say nothing about it. Like that's your ass, man. That's your ass, man. Right. You guilty. That's your ass, man. You guilty, man. You gotta, you gotta teach the truth, man. You can't stay silent. You've been teaching the scripture wrong for so long, but then when you realize that you taught it wrong, you ain't gonna talk about it no more. You're gonna avoid that scripture. Hey, your ass is grab, man. You got it. Go ahead, bro. All right, this is uh, Hebrews chapter five, verse 14. 
But strong meat belongeth to them that are all, that are a full age. It's strong meat to them. You see, they mature to that level of discernment. Right. It's strong meat. You see, and people are like, well, you know what I'm saying? They breaking down all these scriptures. They going to this, they going to that. But when it comes to that, strong meat, Mike. When it comes to the mark of the beast, it's spiritual and it's strong. It's a strong, it's, it's strong meat, man. And the mark of the beast is the chip, man. They don't have to discern it, man. It's a physical thing, man. That's going to take place. That they're going to insert in you, man. Go ahead, bro. It says, even, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised. Yeah. Having their senses exercised. Being able to have that discernment, man. Right? See? They're on the level of that to where they can break it down to tell you what it is. Some people can't, some people can't. That gift ain't given to them. The ones who can't. Go ahead. It says to discern both good and evil. Fine. Give me uh first Corinthians 12 and uh 8. First Corinthians 12 and 8. First Corinthians 12 and 8. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 8. Mm -hmm. For to one, for to one is given by the Spirit. So these are spiritual gifts. Okay? These are spiritual gifts. Go ahead. The word of wisdom. The word of wisdom. Key. Go ahead. To another, the word of knowledge. Key. Go ahead. By the same Spirit. So it's a gift. It's a gift, man, in a different level. All the way down to 10. Verse 9, to another faith by the same spirit. To another the gift of healing by the same spirit. Mm -hmm. Verse 10, to another the working of miracles. To another prophecy. To another discerning of spirits. To another diverse kinds of tongues to another the interpretation of tongues. See? So, it's a gift, man. Not everybody can get it, man. It did it different levels, man, of their discernment, man. See? That's it on that. Give me Philippians 1 and, Philippians chapter 1, verse 9. Philippians chapter 1, verse 9. Philippians chapter 1, verse 9. Come. All right, this is uh, Philippians chapter 1, verse 9. All the way down to 10. Go ahead. Okay. This, this, and this I pray, that your love may abound yet more and more in knowledge and in all judgment. Abound mean to increase or grow in knowledge. So that's what it's all about. Increasing in knowledge of what? The scriptures, man. Right? What's written in these, what's written in book? So if you ain't increased in knowledge concerning the mark of the beast, read it again, bro. Alright, this is Philippians chapter 1, verse 9. And this I pray, that your love may abound yet more in, more in knowledge mm -hmm. and in all judgment. So verse 10, that ye may approve things that are excellent, that ye may be sincere and without offense to the day of a Mashiach. See? Man, I ain't got to break that down. If you don't know what that means, you look it up. You go out to the different translation. <laughs> Man, give me 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 21.
1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 21. Shaking like I'm, man, it's cold out here, man. I'm trying to stay warm. I'm shaking like crazy, man. Yeah. So first Thessalonians chapter 1. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 21. All right, this is uh, First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1. 21. Oh, it's like it's First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 21. Go ahead. It says, prove all things, hold fast, that which is good. Test it. You see? And hold fast to that which is good, right? So, in order to prove all things, you gotta have it discernment, right? You see? You gotta have that discernment, right? To know the truth and a lie, right? Okay, they teach him lies. That ain't right. Gotta have that discernment, man. In order to test something, man. And when you find out the truth, you teach it. You see? Read it one more time, bros. Alright, this is uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 21. Prove all things, hold fast that which is good. So let's look up the word proof right there. chapter 7 verse 24 judge not according to the appearance but judge righteously judgment righteous judgment judge righteous judgment man. 
And in order to do that, you got to get in these scriptures and see who telling the truth and when they lie. You see? So that's it on that. Lord, whether y'all learn something, we're going to face each. Like to give all praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechak Kodash. Double honors to the elder apostle Jim Master who well. Salute you brothers pushing this word and truth and sincerity and strength by Yahweh Shai. And Shalom to you, brothers and sisters, join the trust and spirit of Pai Yahweh Shemar Shah. Shalom to you too. So with that, face the key. The Wafla Babylon. The Wafla Babylon. The Wafla Babylon. The Wafla Babylon. And the Wafla two-thirds. Shalom. Stay strong. Search the scriptures. Pray for deliverance.